William John Bray CBE, the 10th of September 1911 in Fratton, Portsmouth, the 6th of September 2004, was a communications engineer and director of research at the Post Office Research Station between 1966 and 1975. In 1972, he presented the Bernard Price Memorial Lecture in South Africa. Topic: Articles. Bray, W. J. and Lowry, W. R. H. 1939. A New Short Wave Transatlantic Radio Receiver. POEEJ 32 1, 24-31. Bray, W. J. 1948. The Possibilities of Super High Frequency Radio and Waveguide Systems for Telecommunications, IPOEE Printed Paper No. 197, 1948. Booth, C. F. and Bray, W. J. 1949. A Report on Microwave Radio Relay and Waveguide Systems Studied in USA. Report by Experimental and Development Branch of Post Office Engineering Department. Copy held in UK National Archives will 195 10,700 firsts. Bray, W. J. 1950. A Survey of Modern Radio Valves. Part 6 A. Valves for use at frequencies above 3000 mic, s, POEEJ 43 148–153 Bray, W. J. 1951. A Survey of Modern Radio Valves. Part 6 B. Valves for use at frequencies above 3000 mic, s, POEEJ 43 187–191 Topic Books Bray, J. 1995. The Communications Miracle, Telecommunications Pioneers from Morse to the Information Superhighway, Perseus Books, ISBN 0-306-45042-9 Bray, J. Then, Now and Tomorrow, The Autobiography of a Communications Engineer, The Book Guild Limited, ISBN 1-85776-481-1. Bray, J. Innovation and the Communications Revolution, Institution of Electrical Engineers, ISBN 0-85296-218-5. Topic: External links. Times obituary. IET. Satcom's pioneer John Bray dies, aged 92. The first transatlantic transmission of television on the 10th of July 1962 by John Bray. Works by or about John Bray in libraries. WorldCat catalog.